So we now have our barrel shape, but it looks quite boring. So let's start adding our textures. Let's start with the wood texture of the barrel. With the main barrel selected, let's come down to the materials properties tab and create a new material. Let's just rename our material to something like wood. Now let's move over to the shading tab at the top here. So don't worry too much about what you see here. We will cover the texturing process in a lot more detail in a future tutorial video. But just to give you a quick explanation, this is called the node editor, and this is where we essentially add a bunch of nodes which will create the material for us. What we need to do now is hold down Shift and A to bring up the Add menu. And in the search bar here, type in Image. And then select Image Texture. Left click to place it. Now select Open and let's choose our wood texture. Now if we connect the color output of the image texture node to the base color input of this node, you will see that our texture is now generated. Let's do the same thing for our metal bands. So we're coming over to the collection, select Metal Bands, Materials Properties, click New to create a new material. We'll call it Metal. Same thing as before, Shift and A, Search, Image, then Image Texture. Open, and let's choose our Metal Texture and connect the color to the base color here. Now you could leave it like this if you want. I'm just gonna add another node just to make this a little bit darker. So I'm gonna to come to the add menu again and under color here, I'm gonna choose hue and saturation. I'm gonna place it on this line. As you can see, it highlights when I move the node over it. If I left click, Blender will automatically keep the flow while adding this in the middle, which is quite handy. Now let's change the value down a bit. Uh, let's say 0 0.4. There you go, that's a little bit better. Just makes it look a little bit darker. Now let's come back to the Layout tab and go into Material Preview Mode, which you can do either up here or hold down the Z key and then come down to Material Preview. Now, if you look closely, we do have some rough edges that are appearing, these lines. What you can do is select the mesh, right click and then use Shade Smooth, which just smooths out the model a bit. And we can do the same thing with the barrel. I'm also going to assign these parts of the barrel up here to the metal material as well. So to do this, let's select the barrel, go into edit mode, and select the faces that we want to uh, change over to metal. Let's go into face select mode and if I can try and find them, just you've got to select the edges here. If you find this hard to do, just go back into solid mode and then you can easily see the lines. And there's also one just down here. There we go. And remember, it's hot, you're holding down the shift key and the alt key to select multiple uh, things. Going back into material preview mode with these selected now. Let's create a new material over here and come down to the material browser 
and just select metal, which is the material we already made. And then click assign, which will assign these faces to this material. And there you go. So we now have our barrel 3D model. It is a decent barrel. We could do a lot more with these textures to make the barrel look more realistic by applying things like normal maps and displacement maps. But if I was to work with you right now to make this barrel as realistic as possible, it would probably be very overwhelming for this video. I am planning to make a Blender Intermediate Tutorial Series which will explain those next steps. So don't worry, you will still learn everything you need to know about Blender. I just want to break out the learning process into different stages so that it is easier to follow along. The beginner tutorial series was about learning how to use Blender and creating a basic 3D model. In the intermediate tutorial series, we will take everything we've learned and take it to the next stage where you will become adept at 3D modeling. But before we end this tutorial series, there are still two more things that I wanna show you. Rendering and exporting your mesh. We will cover this in the next and final video of the Blender Beginner Tutorial Series.